I think that cigarettes are yucky. It really turns your teeth really nasty and yellow and stuff. It can cause cancer. You can get very sick from it. It can kill you and make your nose black. I won't smoke because it's bad for your body. I don't think I'll start smoking because um, I don't want to damage my body. No, all they're doing is just killing themselves, basically. Every day, over 3,000 children begin smoking. For many, this will develop into a lifelong addiction. The younger a person begins smoking, the stronger the addiction becomes. So, why do they start? Kids know the facts about smoking. They know tobacco kills. What happens to change this thinking? The less support kids have in their life, the more the media is likely to start to fill that niche. So if, if they don't have supportive people at home helping them develop a positive self-concept and identity, that's going to be fulfilled some other way. So what rock artists, rap stars, country western stars, the messages that they're putting forward, like uh, for example, if, if they smoke in their videos, that's a message to be being put forward even if it's not in the lyrics of the song. Kids do what they see. And it's just that simple. You have certain people uh, that the kids look up to, entertainers, uh, actresses, actors, walking around with a cigarette hanging out of their hand or smoking on a cigarette, and it, it, it kind of makes them feel like this is part of the, the cool look, when it's not. Actually, it's, it's destroying them. And it's a really a challenge because you're talking about something that is put in our faces that looks like luxury that looks like fun, that looks like excitement, that looks like you're cool, that looks like you're old. Most children want to emulate people that they see that produce at least the vision of confidence. And sometimes the vision of confidence might have you hanging a cigarette out of your mouth. Over $10 billion is spent each year on tobacco advertising. And their goal is to replace the 1,200 smokers that die every day from this addiction. Without the ability to critically analyze these messages, children are vulnerable to a media-saturated society. I think the more that we can help people of whatever age understand how the media works, how advertising works, um, how they persuade people, how they use images, how the music that goes with the images, with the words that are being said, with the programming that it's placed in, with the time of day it's being run, with the audience that they have in mind, the more people can understand that, the better. Doing media literacy classes, the first thing I ask young people is, do you feel that you are being affected by the media? And 90% of them are saying, no, the media doesn't affect me. And then uh, that day I show them, uh, you know, just some simple things that they can relate to just by seeing a letter of a particular brand that they can recognize, oh, that's Campbell's Soup, oh, that's Kool-Aid, oh, that's Ivory Soap, oh, that, and, and all they've seen is a letter in a color. That particular C meant Campbell's Soup, means that the media is affecting you. It's very important that we're teaching children how to be critical thinkers and how to decipher what's best for them as opposed to what's just introduced to them, but also give them the tools to empower them to make good decisions about how they will be as young adults and great citizens. We can use media in teaching and educating young people on how they can do positive things and how they can create their own positive media. That they're not just, uh, you know, innocent bystanders. That once they are aware of it and once we educate them on it, then they can produce their own media or they can be aware of their, the media that and how it affects them. As we work with young people and they're beginning to make a change in their thought process, in their thinking, then they can be the ones that come up through the ranks and make media be accountable for what's, what media is doing. Because we can't continue to have a, a, a free reign on just throwing things out there that we know are going to affect everybody. Media literacy provides the tools to empower youth to take control of the messages directed towards them every day. Um, we now get over 95% of the information we get through non-print media. We are still teaching reading, writing, and arithmetic. We are making sure that kids get literate to the printed word, to deconstruct things that are printed so they can separate what's real from what's not. 
We are not doing that at all effectively with over 95% of the information they take in. So we are creating a great filter for 5% and 95% of the information is coming in completely uncritically, completely unfiltered. So we need to really take a step back and say what is the point of education? The point of education is to teach kids how to synthesize their world and behave in it. And if we don't give them the tools for synthesizing the vast majority of the information they get, they will be at a disadvantage compared to those who can't.